Cody back here again, finally with another uh, Vinyl Finds update, and uh, it's been probably about a month or so since the last one I've done, but uh, you know, it's uh, getting towards the end of July now, which it's kind of kind of crazy to me to think it's already almost August, this summer is flying by, uh, I did just recently upload some videos from Dave Matthews' band, some of those shows, uh, a few songs from there. Uh, two Great Nights in Noblesville. Um, night One was just amazing. Uh, they actually streamed that, streamed that on Sirius uh, Satellite Radio on the Dave Matthews Band Channel 2. Night 2 was really solid. And then I went and saw them in Cincinnati as well at Riverbend, which was a, another amazing show. Um, definitely uh, three shows that I just have no complaints about. Just amazing. Super fun time. Unfortunate, unfortunately... I was kind of wanting to hit up some record stores in Cincinnati, and I just didn't have the uh, time uh, to actually do that. But um, I definitely plan on making it back to Ohio, hopefully very soon, and hitting up some stores. But uh, do you have some albums to show? Um, not really a, a ton of albums to show, and most of these are actually going to be from the Vinyl Rescue Project. Um, and he's honestly been getting in. It's just such an amazing collection within the last month or so. Um, unfortunately, this guy that used to actually go into his store passed away. It seemed kind of sudden. Uh, it was either late last year or early this year, and his family actually has been bringing in his collection, at least some of his collection, and uh, they made a deal with the Vinyl Rescue Project where he's selling their, his, their father's albums in the store and uh, kind of splitting the profits. I'm not entirely sure all the uh, stuff about that, but uh, they've been bringing in like two to 300 albums a week, and they've been doing this for like the last month or so, and this guy reportedly has like 8,000 albums, so it's going to be a little bit of time before they get through all of them, and I don't know you know, if they're going to do it for a certain amount of time to see how it goes and, or any of that, but uh, I have been able to grab some albums from his collection, and uh, buy them from them and uh, I mean this guy I mean it's unfortunate what happened uh, but I am glad and I feel fortunate to actually have some of his collection in my collection now because it de definitely makes me feel like there's a little piece of him in my collection now and kind of keep his spirit alive if that makes any sense but uh, just, just looking through the albums in the last four weeks um, just amazing stuff and it's just looks like most of the stuff's not been played or really been played once or twice. Um, definitely has very similar taste than, than myself, but just digging through it, there's a lot of great stuff in there. And I've only, in the last four weeks, probably picked up maybe six or seven albums. And um, unfortunately, they usually start it on Saturday morning, and I usually, typically, always, almost always work Saturday. Um, occasionally have it off, but uh, the last four weeks, I've had one Saturday off. And uh, the week that I actually had off, they were on vacation, so they didn't bring any new stock into him. So go figure. But uh, definitely kind of taking a sad situation and kind of turning it around and uh, allowing fans of you know music and just records to actually be able to purchase this gentleman's collection. Um, and I definitely, definitely feel proud to own these in my collection now. I'm actually going to show through them real quick. The first one is... Um, Oasis. This is an original 2000 UK pressing of uh, Standing on the Shoulder of Giants. I've really been wanting to add some original Oasis to my collection. And uh, I got this one. And I also picked up this original 2002 um, also uh, UK pressing of uh, Heathen Chemistry. It's just in immaculate shape. I mean, just a great album, too. I really, really dig. Probably one of my favorite Oasis albums is uh, Heathen, Heathen Chemistry. And uh, super glad to have it. And these are all, like, priced really, uh, really fair. I think Heathen Chemistry I got for, like, $22, $25, somewhere around there. Um, and they definitely range in price from... Because uh, they did have some stuff that's like, you know, 100 150 200 Some of that stuff I kind of didn't uh, pull the trigger on, but uh, I also picked up uh, Pride and Glory. Um, this is an original 1999 pressing of the 1994 album. I think this is the only time this has ever been pressed on uh, 
on vinyl. It's kind of a really good album. It's uh, Zach Wild uh, before he was in Black Label Society and obviously before he joined up with Ozzy Osbourne. But it's just a really uh, stellar album. You Losing Your Mind is the first song on this album. It's definitely a great way to kick off the album. It's on this clear, translucent, green vinyl. But uh, one of those albums you just don't see like around uh, very often at all. Then I also picked up uh, an original copy, um, UK UK pressing of uh, Amorica Black Crows, and this is the one is on white vinyl. And uh, you know I recently picked this up two or two or three years ago. Whenever the reissue came out, I picked up the reissue of it, and uh, I mean. I thought the reissue sounded all right, um, but what I like about this one, it has the uh, bonus track "Tied Up and Swallowed," which I don't think is on the uh, is on the reissue. But uh, I mean, it's probably my favorite Black Crows album. So being able to get an original copy of this uh, definitely is pretty pretty awesome. And then I also picked up this is an. Alice in Chains album that I needed to get. It's Black Gives Away to Blue. Um, came out originally in 2009. This is on the uh, the uh, clear vinyl. And uh, they actually even still had the uh, the CD with it. So still had the CD and it tacked and everything. Um, and this is a really uh, stellar album from from Alice in Chains, uh, their first album, uh, obviously, uh, since Lane had passed away in 2002, and their first album since like 1995, but um, this is a really stellar album, and Alice in Chains is actually playing here, I think August 20th, uh, definitely, I mean, I get off of work about 5.30 that day, so definitely going to try uh, to make it up there and uh, check them out in concert, um, we'll see how that goes, though. Uh, and then the last two albums I actually picked up in that collection so far is uh, two couple of Toadies albums I needed to pick up. Uh, Play Rock Music, Toadies. This one came out in 2012. And uh, another one, I actually, had the, I actually have had the picture disc of this for a while. It's a feeler. Originally came out in 2010. And this is just, I mean, both of these albums are great. You really can't go wrong with uh, the Toadies, their newest album, which I actually have the shirt on for it, is amazing as well. But those are all the uh, stuff that I actually pulled out from that collection. It's just been an amazing collection for sure. In the last uh, couple of weeks, um, I didn't get anything this week. Uh, there's a few things I saw, but you know, again, I had to work, so I wasn't able to make it in there. But uh, there's a, definitely, a, just knowing that there's more coming, uh, there's a, some things I just kind of, want to wait and if he has it later I might pick up but uh definitely always fun to go in there because I usually go in there like the day before just to check out what he has he just won't sell me anything until Saturday which uh it's kind of a bummer but you know rules are rules and trying to make it fair for everybody so I I understand um I do have one more album to show as well and this is the last one I'm going to show I actually got this off of the uh, Pearl Jam website um it's live at Easy Street Yes, I did show this on Record Store Day. I did pick this up on Record Store Day, but this is the um, Tin Club exclusive version on uh, red vinyl. Uh, it's just um, really cool looking. One of those things that I probably didn't really need to get, but uh, you know, when it comes to the Pearl Jam, I want to get most of the stuff that I can get my hands on. And I figured if uh, I didn't, wasn't able to get it, or if I didn't get it when I had the chance, I would probably regret it. And it would probably go for stupid amounts of money on Discogs. So definitely I'm glad I bought it. Uh, luckily I was on lunch when they, when they put it up on the website. So I was able to actually get a copy. Because I think it sold out in like a couple of hours. But, you know, amazing looking uh, vinyl. Uh, I don't know how often I'm actually going to play this. I do have the, you know, the record store day. Just a regular, regular black version. But, uh definitely glad to add that to my uh, Pearl Jam collection. Always, 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 always trying to add uh, more Pearl Jam albums to my uh, collection. So definitely uh, stoked I was able to actually get one before it sold out. 
but uh, that is actually all the albums I'm going to have to show today. Um, and of course, the Soundgarden uh, album, I ordered the collared version of that. It was supposed to come this week. I got an email on like Monday or Tuesday saying that there was an issue with the uh, pressing and that I had to repress all the collared vinyl. So of course, now it's been delayed till like sometime in September. So hopefully I get that within the next couple of months. But uh, and I also pre-ordered the Live Throwing Copper 25th Anniversary uh, Deluxe Edition vinyl. And uh, I said it was gonna ship around July 19th. It's, as of recording this video, it's like July 27th. And it still says pre-order. So it's kind of a little annoying. Um, so hopefully I get that soon. And I was kind of on the fence to ordering that in the first place because the price point was uh, kind of steep for what you get, but uh, I was able to get 20% off. So hopefully it comes and I can show those stuff uh, in future uh, upcoming Vinyl Finds videos. Hopefully uh, some of them in the next Vinyl Finds video because hopefully the next one's not going to be a month away. But I know I am going to see Blues Traveler and Mo on Wednesday coming up. And... Uh, August 10th, I'm going to see uh, Violent Fames and um, Ben Folds. Um, but, uh, you know, the concert's winding out. I did just recently get uh, tickets to see Crash Test Dummies. They're going to be here September 19th. Uh, definitely pretty stoked about seeing them. And uh, I'm sure there's more shows I'm going to in August, too, but uh, don't have tickets yet for. But uh, anyway, I really don't have anything else to say. Um, but... Uh, Thanks again for watching. I hope everyone has a great day and uh, enjoys the rest of what's left of the summer.